I'll tell you the one that feels something, right? You know, it's yeah. once you know the principles, it's very easy. Right? Because it's more focused, so there's not like a lot of things to master compared to paper one. Paper, paper three, paper three. Yeah. Pack. Let's sign in first. Hello again. Uh, we are recording the revision mm -hmm. of the paper three, and this is Ria Nieter. And uh, <laughs> show your face. You will be recorded. It will become a long term revision for other candidates in the future. So you are the contributor in this program. <laughs> Good. And now we'll share the screen. We start on paper three. Before that, before we do this sharing, I must tell everyone, this is from PIA Chosen Race. Now, paper three. Long term business. And uh, pay attention to the distribution of the uh, examination questions. 100%. So it's spread evenly. Okay. Type of insurance, riders, policies, and uh, life insurance procedures. So pretty evenly. You cannot escape any part of it. It is, I think it's uh, after explanation. Uh, very easy. Definition of life insurance. <laughs> okay. Like, it's defined, um, or according to the function, basically, it's called temporary needs. But you normally call it savings policy, endowment policy. This is my Saving policy is called endowment. E N D O W N. What is an endowment policy? Short term insurance. You pay yeah, for it. Not necessarily short term. It can be long term. It's long term business. The term is long term business. Paper three is long term business, not short term business. <laughs> well, it is savings in nature, so it's like bank. It's like investment that you make. No, savings policy is not an investment policy. We have another type of investment policy. Savings policy is saving policy. You give paid in according to a payment schedule and it will get repaid in one lump sum. Uh, so it, it, has savings. Term. it has a savings term. So mm -hmm. normally in AI policy is a five year term, 10 years term, 25 years term, and you get the money at the age of 60, 75, 65, at the future date. Mm -hmm. That's called savings policy. And right now, how much earnings, how much how much uh, in a compound interest rate is paid out of the savings policy, do you know? Any idea? The bank is paying about half percent for the savings interest rate. Maybe two percent? No. In any policy, according to the insurance authority, when you present a customer, you must present three scenarios. Mm. Pessimistic, most likely, and optimistic case. Uh, AIA pays around five or no, Ruben, this has been reduced. Right now, the projection is based on most likely, most likely case about 3.5%. That's the optimistic? That is the most likely. Yeah, it's, I think it's probably minimum. Most likely case. Yeah, that's most likely. Most likely case. Yeah, because it uh, has been restricted. In the past, it's about 5%. Mm -hmm. But right now, because of the interest, low interest rate, how can savings policy pay you more than the bank savings rate? Yeah. How? Because the bank is saving for a longer time period, you can save your money for up to 70 years. No, because of the investment. You know, we explain this principle. What is insurance? Many people of the same risk mm -hmm. put money into a pool 
right? Yeah. And the pool keep reinvested according to the insurance company's investment policy, mm -hmm. and it pays at maturity. And people have different maturity dates, so there's a schedule. Mm. So people come in and also at different dates, different dates. So you just can make make use of the pool money to invest. Mm -hmm. And how they do invest will depend on product, different products. Like a uh, in AIA, we call the, the bonus power product. We call mm -hmm. BP. Uh, sometimes we call it uh, a simple simple love. SL2, SL3, different products. Okay. It has different investment uh, strategies. Okay. Okay. Normally is about 60% in uh, bonds and 40% in equity. That's why the equity you, on, on the long term, the 30 years term will give you more returns. A bond, a 10 years term, 30, 20 years bond will give you three or four percent. That's how we make this money and then return to the uh, <clears throat> principal plus interest. Uh, we call it bonuses. Well, the dividends in the future. Investment. <clears throat> long term investment policy, what is it? It's for a longer period of time. No. For savings policy, the insurance company will bear the risks of the investment. Uh, but okay. for the investment policy, the policy owners will so bear the risk of the money they put in the insurance company. Oh. Does that make the investment have this higher premium? This is called the link mm -hmm. policy. Unit link. Oh, I've heard that name before. Hmm? I've heard the name before. Unit Link Investment Policy. Well, ULP, yes. ULP. And uh, <clears throat> Unit Link. And this you require license paper file. Uh, okay. Without paper file, you cannot sell Unit Link policy. All right. All right. What is retirement policy? It's for. You claim after the age of retirement. Uh, retirement is just called normally called annuity. 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 What is annuity policy? Paid How is it different from endowment policy? Endowment is lump sum. Annuity is yeah. yeah. paid regularly. Yeah. Pay forever until you die. Or pay for At ten years. At the end years. of the month, but, yeah. For a fixed yeah. period of time, yeah. or pay until you die. Mm. Long term annuity or termed so, in annuity. Like, so like these are different plans, savings policy, so very easy. Uh, uh, for the retirement long-term insurance, can I buy it for when I was 70, for example? Like I buy it now when I was yeah, 20 I and so. then I schedule it. You Each will policy annuity. has an age limit. Mm. Sometimes it's up to 65, up to 65, sometimes it's for a uh, uh, some policies up uh, is up to sixty five. What yeah. happens if you have a life insurance and a retirement plan, but you die? Then the retirement plan goes to like your wife and your children, right? Yeah, if there's a fixed term, you go to your beneficiary. Okay. Oh. Will it be paid in lump sum or in annuity? You can. If the person dies, you can ask lump to return the whole the oh. whole money back, you, and that will pay up to the we call it the death. Uh, benefits. Um, we call it the death benefits. Now, later I'll show you what the proposal will look like. You will see that we will give the ideas of what is the cash, uh, cash value, surrender value, death benefits. We must project them to the okay. What are these used for? And these are the uses for life insurance, for personal needs, for different, different, uh, uh, life situations, education, retirement, mortgage repayment, emergency fund, disability income, and some are uh, paid in one lump sum, like an endowment policy is paid in one lump sum, death benefits paid in one lump sum, annuity paid by installment, mm -hmm. and also hospital income, a hospital benefits mm -hmm. is paid by 
the days you have, you are in the hot hospital. They say eight hundred dollars a day. So it's installment. No, as long as you're in the hospital, but for maximum oh. number of days. Like for ten days, eight hundred. Like longer than that, maybe four hundred. And then. You no, know, if you you buy the hospital benefits of eight hundred dollars per day, mm -hmm. for let's say the uh, one hundred eighty days, mm -hmm. and if you stay in the hospital longer than one hundred eighty days. With no benefit. Yeah. Uh, the maximum amount has been paid. Don't they do it sometimes in the first five days you get 800, then the next five you get 400, and then... No. Oh. Normally it's a requirement, predetermined. Okay. Depends on the benefit level. And for business needs, we talk about this as key persons, the directors, med key managers, Business owners, partners, directors, shareholders, mm -hmm. partnership, lawyers firms, accountant firms, doctors, employee benefits. We talk about all of these. These are for business needs because they have the insurable interest. And the principle still applies. Insurable interests are most good pay, proximate cause, indemnity, Same contribution, and everything applies. Mm -hmm. All right. Although this, we, call not, we do not call it a damage, we call it death benefits, yeah. we call it insured benefits. Okay. And people can also die for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Okay. If a person has cancer, mm -hmm. but it's died out of a lung disease, died of COVID, for example, mm -hmm. what is the proximate cause? The proximate cause is COVID, but then the cancer makes him more susceptible to COVID. The proximate cause is called desire of COVID. On the certificate, it caused by the like the uh, lung, can lung, lung, mm. lung, lung disease is not die die of cancer. Okay. So, um, interesting. Something interesting here. Yeah, I was just almost explained. Uh -huh. A family is going to take a trouble. So family trip, mm -hmm. husband and wife with two kids, boy and girl. Okay. The car run into an accident. Husband died immediately. Okay. The wife and children not died, but admitted to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And then two children dies first. And the wife die after month. What will happen to the life insurance policy? What will what whose life insurance? Who will get policy? what? Let's, Let's say the husband have a, mil a million dollar in the life policy. Uh -huh. The wife another million, hundred million, uh, another million. The, yeah. Each wife have fifty thousand. Yeah. The kids died or they are alive. Husband died immediately, admitted to the hospital. Then the boy and girls died, but after five days, uh -huh. the wife dies after thirty days. Okay, so uh, when he died, it was his hundred. So his hundred went fifty to the wife, and then twenty five to the boy and the girl. Then the boy and girl died. So this left fifty and fifty. This went to the mother as well. So this became hundred fifty, and then this became two hundred, and then her own is hundred. So that'll be three hundred, and we'll go to her beneficiary. Go to where? A beneficiary. Who, 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 who is the beneficiary? But we don't know. It will we'll become an estate, right? The estate will go to first pay the 30 days. No, but it will be, be, become the estate, right? And the estate will become to the, the father, siblings. mother, and the sister, brother, and sisters of the wife's family. Yeah, it will go to them. And if the total amount will be younger. Mm -hmm. yeah. She has. Siblings, the wife has siblings, have parents, have yeah. They were divided equally by siblings. Yeah. So 
But if I'm the husband, I don't know where my money will go. Even if I have named. Now, if I've, I've named my beneficiary, if my hundred dollars is I only name my wife as a beneficiary, my son will not get this fifty thousand. Or it goes to my wife. And my son dies, and if his name uh, mother as a beneficiary go to the mother. And before he dies, he can pass reassign the money to someone else. If he died without a will or reassignment of the beneficiary, so he admitted hospital insane to, uh, for the 30 days, mm -hmm. then the money will go to the estate. That's that's why we need a will. Yeah. We need a will. What about if the son and the boy and girl is a minor? Are minor? Well, they can, well, if it's a minor, <clears throat> the money will go to a trust account held in custody by the guardians of the children, whoever the guardians. If the mother is still alive, it will be mother. If the mother is not, not alive, it could be your uncle. Oh, okay. And the uncle can take money away. Oh, wow. so, so you never, never know, know where, never the, know where the money will go to. <laughs> go, go. So that's, that's life insurance. Very interesting. Explain that already. Voidable. Oh, this is servo interest. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So key employees, key persons under contractual relationship have the insurable interest. And uh, oneself, spouse, not father, not mother, not <laughs> father and mother-in-law, not uncle, not siblings, no, no, no insurable interest. Deptives, yes. Exception uh, is uh, people in the minor under the age of 18. All right, but okay. stepsons or sons and uh, daughters out of a legal marriage. What happened? They have interest. They have. Do they if have? If they have blood relationship. No, even if there's a legal relationship, right? Like, supposedly my mother remarries mm -hmm. and but that guy adopts me as a legal uh, child and I'm his child even though I'm not like in blood related to him, but in legal terms, I'm still his child, right? Yes. If he has adopted, like... No, even he has not adopted. I have a... Outside my marriage. Yeah. And my son is all to my estate. Yeah, no, I meant... I meant if my mother remarries, mm -hmm. then the new husband, I would be entitled to whatever if I'm legally adopted. I'll be entitled to my mother's assets either way, but for of his assets. Like I'll be entitled only if I'm adopted by him. Husband and wife. Mm -hmm. Wife may, re may remarry to a second husband mm -hmm. and his children become the legal son of this second husband. Yeah. yeah. Will he get my estate? Yes. So he is still your father. I'm sorry, yes, because I am still his father by blood. Mm -hmm. blood. What about if the son, has there been a case of the illegal son challenge the legal son for the father's inheritance? Oh, no, yes. If I inheritance? have my two sons here, mm -hmm. he can challenge. Well, I am entitled to one third of mm -hmm. the because I am his son outside marriage. Oh, wow. If it's true, right. this son of the second wife can be entitled to, yes. Don't so if I want huh? not to pass any money to my second wife, I must have a will oh, yeah. or name my son one, son two as direct benefit. Then the money will go to son one and son two. Do not have an estate left for my kids. Sons, yeah. And even better, if I have uh, more assets to distribute, 
cannot distribute all my assets I have stocks I have company shares cannot distribute uh, directly assigned it to my beneficiary to my two sons I set up a family trust and put all the assets into the family trust then I can distribute under the trust to my legal sons oh, and yeah. these party will not have any assets. So what's the difference between trust and estate? A trust is a commercial and commercial contract that the policyholder creates when he is alive. And it will exist, come into force, come into reality at the time that he died. Oh. It's a future contract. Mm -hmm. Say if I die in the future, then all my assets will be passed to this trust. And then while he's alive, he can make all the transfer to the trust. Transfer all the assets to the trust. If I have properties or shares, I can transfer shares to the trust. Then it's no longer under me. So even I bankrupt, even I die, no one has access to my habit. Without my trust, not mine. And the person who runs this trust is called the family office. And oh, the family so office. this is a good way to ensure that your children get money even if you go bankrupt. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. I see. The trust is a separate legal entity, registered in law. Estate is not a separate legal entity. So. No, it's not. It's just a, estate is it's an asset. Oh. It's an entitlement to an asset. Ah, okay. Ownership of an asset. Who has the rights to the asset? Uh, so the estate will be the one that. Estate is, is a you know is a legal interest in the asset. Um, it's declared by the court after one side. Ah, okay. okay. All right, this is a real right. interest, very interesting one. Uh, divorce, yes, even after divorce. Alimony. Assignment, yeah. Da, 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 da. I think we have to deal with this. Mm -hmm. Oh, assignment, two types of assignment. One is called absolute assignment, it's permanent assignment. And then the other one is collateral assignment, it's primary. Then you can redeem it. Mm -hmm. After the assignment, you never take it back. It's permanent out of your hand. You assign it out of your hand. Uh, for this one, there's a question. If you assign your life insurance to others, do they have to pay your premium or they just receive the right? That's different, right? That's what he said. Yes, it is it. Whoever, like, you can add another like policy holder, mm -hmm. but you can't add another insured uh, without another. the permission of... No, you can't add another beneficiary without the permission of the insured. Uh, because then the beneficiary would have motive to kill the insured. Once it becomes an absolute assignment, so the original policy holder has no right to it anymore. They cannot change any change. So they don't have to pay the premium to whoever becomes the assignee right. has the they obligation have... to pay the oh. premium for that contract to be enforceable. If for you the... stop the payment, the policy will lapse. Uh, for the collateral? Yeah, collateral. Well, normally this will happen yes. when the payment is fully paid. Mm -hmm. Is a one-time payment or is it fully paid up? Mm -hmm. Sign, cash value to another party. Mm -hmm. Okay, insurable interest, just remember this word, material facts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, then this principle will be applied. Oh, general insurance. General insurance, we have everything, indemnity, contribution, and surrogation, but in life, life policy, we don't have that. Mm -hmm. You cannot surrogate your life policy. You cannot contribute. Okay, the benefit. Okay, the class of criteria applied insurance premium. How do we determine the insurance premium? Based on the actuary. The actuary. actuary department. Analysis. It sits here, it's adequate and equitable. Equitable means it's fair. Yeah. How, what do you mean by fair? People have different... Uh, Bias, different risks. Yeah, they come in different times. Yeah. They are paid equally, have legal um, rights to the money. Mm -hmm. 
So there are other, there are three factors, the expenses, which are the market expenses, commission expenses, rental expenses, everything as a percentage of the premium. And the interest rate is a forecast projected interest rate according to a projected investment return. And that investment return may, may or may not be the same, sometimes more, sometimes less. If it's more, they will accumulate into the pool. It will become a factor for the bonus we pay out. Mm -hmm. A mortality rate is a death rate according to the uh, 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 statistical, statistical uh, principle. Sometimes, because people get healthier and get longer health, longer age, mm -hmm. so it has also a favorable variance to estimate the pool. So because of these two factors, when interest rates is higher, when mortality rate is lower, you get benefits in the interest in, in, uh, in the interest pool. That's how that's where you get your bonuses. Conversion bonus and terminal bonus. Okay. So three factors. Lower expenses, lower mortality rate, or higher interest rate, you get better bonuses. Higher percentage of bonuses. Uh, so if the mortality rate is low, lower, lower than the forecast, is lower than forecast, interest is higher than forecast. You get a favorable variance. You get good one. Then you pay more. Because um, then it's less likely people will die, and you know people mm -hmm. get longer. How mm -hmm. they? And uh, in in reality. We use different mortality tables for different categories of nationalities. Uh, it is higher mortality rate in China than in Hong Kong. People are short aged in China than in Hong Kong. And so the mortality rate for some developing countries like Philippines, India, I think is higher mortality rate than in Hong Kong, mature economies like Hong Kong, America. Oh. So you get different some, some policies more acceptably more expensive in China because of higher mortality rate. Other factors, competition, economic changes, and public health and fiscal change and company objective market strategies. I think this just easy to uh, mm -hmm. ask it when ask this kind of questions. Okay, par and non par, these two terms. Par means participation. You're participating in the profits, call it dividends, or non participating in the profit, no dividends. Or we, in UK term, we call it profits or reversion and bonus, same thing. Okay. Terminal bonus, without bonus. Normally, for savings, the endowment policy always with the reversion bonuses. And where the bonus come? Lower mortality rate, rate, low expenses, high energy. Yeah. Okay. Participating policy means the paid in cash advance or the apply to future premium or you left to, to be earning interest in the account or you can use it to pay up, pay up the premium, pay up the policy. Mm -hmm. Easy, 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 easy. And policy known, known for future. Known for future, <laughs> meaning that um, you don't want to forfeit mm. your values for the policy. You keep paying the premium, and sometimes you can pay up the policy. I don't. Let's say I insured a twenty-five year term for hundred thousand mm. dollars, and after five years, I don't want to continue to pay for the next twenty years. I pay up the value, meaning at this time, if I have a cash value of uh, uh, I paid it up, I can either pay one in lump sum to pay up the, the amount, or I can reduce the insured amount, insure, insure by half and only pay half of the money. This will pay the policy. Um, All right. Okay. Good. Introduction. Explain the policy terms. I think grace period. What is the grace period? Like, um, like when I have to pay fees for HQ, 
and they have a 30 day grace period so that, it's normally 30 days yeah. so that before it lapses. no so basically it should not be like supposing the deadline if is it's due today mm-hmm. give you 30 days to pay to still mm-hmm. pay this part of the in practice um because of this COVID period for chinese policies they extended to the six months what if if uh, I pay for life insurance and then I die during this grace period? Is the policy still in effect? Or okay, during, then the, you have an unpaid um, premium okay. of one year. And life insurance right. only starts when the first premium is received, right? No, you have insured one hundred thousand dollars, and your and your premium is still today, and you do not mm-hmm. pay the premium. And if I die fifty days later, where I get this hundred thousand dollars? No, because life insurance starts when the first premium is paid. No, because of the great spirit. You would still pay this $100, and after that, for this amount, it would deduct a one-year premium from it. Ah. Continue that you're paid the premium. Continue it for another year. So you would pay the full amount under the great spirit. But if you left, after 31 days, you die on the 31, 31st day. You and you've not pay. paid. Ah, well, because okay. the policy is left. So this grace period is important. A minimum of 30 to 31 days. Not a period of free insurance. <laughs> you have to pay the insurance. Mm-hmm. It's a special provision. And then this, this grace period is the end of the grace period, US terms. And if due premium is not paid during the grace period, policy will elapse at the day the premium was still. So it will elapse here. Ah, okay. The U.S. will lapse here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, U.S. is okay. <laughs> Non for future. All care spirits require rights are not lost. If there's continued premium that's paid, mm-hmm. you will still get your cash value. That's what they're saying. Automatic premium loan, that means the cash value will be applied to pay the premiums. It's like this one, right? Yeah. 10, the accumulated the cash value will be applied to pay the premium. And uh, the owner, this is too easy. I want to say if you reduce pay up insurance, right? This is what I said. You use a single premium, you pay for the difference and you reduce the amount, lower amount. You pay the difference. That's called a fair policy. Wait, so the, the cash policy value is used to pay this gap? Or you make a, another, you either pay from your policy and net from your cash value to mm-hmm. pay for the difference or you pay additional money into the policy. Um, the additional the money is this level or the original amount? The reduced amount. Oh, okay. Extended term, discontinue premium payment. Mm-hmm. Um, bum, 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 bum. Original policy, you extend it. So it's very easy. Not the features, very easy. Reinstatement. Reinstatement is reactivation. Mm-hmm. of the policy and you have to provide evidence for insurability good health mm-hmm. they check they ask you to go to medical checks again and then your beneficiary have to prove your insurable interest everything you pay the premiums and then it can be a reinstatement there is there may be a reinstatement fee normally it's a three month uh, uh if you pay my monthly payments it's a three month advance payment and then you will have to sale another two years for consistent contestable period another year for suicide if it's a medical policy another 90 days for eating period everything recounted as a new policy oh, okay okay settlement when it meaning that uh, beneficiary will get paid a lump sum or interest option, they can choose whatever plans they want to take the money out. Mm-hmm. Installment by one fixed amount, by a fixed amount every month, by interest only, or pick the principal but interest one lump sum take away. The beneficiary must survive the life insured. Yes. The person to whom the policy owner instructs the insurer to pay the debt benefit when it is can we change the beneficiary? Yes, anytime. You can also name the second beneficiary. A beneficiary cannot 
views. No. Cannot um, argue. Is there anyone who mm -hmm. will argue free money? I cannot argue. I cannot argue. Well, you cannot take me away as a beneficiary. You have the, no rights to the contract. You know, uh, your wife is just name a beneficiary. And uh, when you divorce, you can change the beneficiary mm -hmm. the person. And the wife cannot say no. Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, when you divorce, and you, the wife will be entitled to half of your total assets. Yes, unless there is pretty not. And if you have a large sum of money in the life insurance contract, and you have to declare that the wife has 50% of it. Huh? Uh -huh. Even, even after no, even the policy, yes. Yeah, because it starts at the beginning, life insurance. So at the time, if it was taken, if she was the wife, I think. Wow. <laughs> well, there's a trick here. Let me uh, stop the recording. And, uh, <laughs> okay, let's stop. Nothing. Here. Stop. Uh, now, oh. in Hong Kong, sometimes there is a check whether you are entitled to, let's say, a homeownership scheme. There is a limit. You must be below this asset, right? Okay. And you must not have an, an already have a property. Now, if your parents have a property or your wife has a property, you will not be eligible for application to the home scheme. What they normally do is to park the assets under a life policy oh. in the name of another person, so that on the book of this. Statement that does not appear to be his assets, just to pass the regulations. <laughs> but if the government checks yeah. that you have done this purposely, that is still a fraudulent action. Many people do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Contingent beneficiary, you can name one or more beneficiaries. Contingent beneficiary, second, third, fourth. Second one, third, and another one. The primary, most probably. First but can you primary. name multiple beneficiaries as the primary beneficiary? No, primary, only one. Mm -hmm. There is a rank order, first, second, third. But it's also a contingent. If all of them die, then <laughs> the contingent, is, the contingent okay. beneficiary coming. Okay. Uh -huh. So this is very easy. You should have known you should pass incontestability. Mm -hmm. What is that? After two years. The insurance will not contest contract after it has been forced for the lifetime of two years from the date of the issue. Unless it is by act of fraudulence. It's fraudulence, whole life is void. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it's not if it's not material, then the period of two years in contestability will apply. So if the insurer wants to contest the contract, he, they have to do it before the two years? No. Nope. This only happens to the insurer. Okay. Nothing to do with the contestant. I mean, the policyholder. Yeah, I mean, if the insurer wants to contest the contract, they have to do it before the two years? Within the two years period. But you don't make a claim, the insurance will not take any action. Unless there is a claim within this two year period. Mm -hmm. Then there is a con contestable period, and the insurance will check mm -hmm. everything you have declared in your proposal, check for material uh, non disclosure. Okay. All right? All right. Skip the terms, buttons, we'll go to that. Type of life insurance authority. Oh, easy job. Uh, traditional term. What is term insurance? 10 years, 15, 20 years. Yeah, a fixed period, time. Endowment, savings, savings in the future, payable in the future, whole life. Until you die. Pay until, until you die. Some period of yes, time. Yes, non-traditional. Oh, this I'm, I'm, maybe I need to explain. Universal life and unit link, ULI. What is universal life insurance? 
for all possible deaths. Convertible is easy, right? Convertible. It can be convertible, renewable, power, non power. It can be a rider. But do you know what is rider? No. Additional policy, you attach to a main policy. We call it rider. Okay. Let's say you have a medical policy, but you also have hospital benefits as a rider, you have oh. personal accident as a rider. Oh, okay. And the benefit of it is uh, it's considered into one contract tight, tightly together. You cannot stop a rider. You cannot, yeah, you cannot, you can stop the rider on the renewal date. I don't want this rider. But you cannot keep the rider and cancel the main contract. Ah, uh, okay. The rider only is valid when it's on its main contract. Ah, uh, okay. So what is a common rider? Accident and disability. Accident, disability, and we call it one common type is called premium waiver, PW. Oh, premium waiver. What is premium waiver? What is premium waiver? <laughs> like you waive the premium, right? Premium waiver is insurance on the premium to be paid. It's insurance on the premium to be paid. If you commit a 20 years mortgage, um, or no, 20 years policy, you have to pay 20 years of premium. When you die, you cannot pay. So mm -hmm. it's defined a special, in, a special insurance to pay for the insurance. <laughs> so you can pay. That is a premium waiver. Wow. It's normally okay. right. No, That's... it's normally recommendable wow. to be included in any long term savings policy. And the premium rider could be a uh, policy holder. Premium rider for all disorder. It can be a uh, premium rider for the dis disability uh -huh. that is not dead but he's uh, disabled, permanent disabled. It could be a, a rider for the um, death of his spouse. Death of his spouse dies, and then the policy does not have to pay anymore. The insurance company will take this policy out and pay for remaining repayment policy repayment. I didn't know there was insurance for premiums to be paid. No. A premium rider. Oh, okay. That's weird. You can also have an option. Option to insure as a rider. Meaning that I now I buy because of money constraints, I only buy a insurance policy for hundred thousand. Uh -huh. But I can buy an option to buy another one hundred thousand within the next ten years. Like a stock option, I have the option to increase my amount um, without having to okay, right now. to get my health check, the retrospective of my health conditions. Mm. That is also a rider. Oh. Term we have level term, increasing term, decreasing term, renewable term, complete term. Mm. You can answer it by face. <laughs> Mortgage redemption, the insurance amount is tied to your mortgage, so it's keep uh, building. And the amount of deals are tied to the insurance amount. You get a lower premium. You can use it. Oh, okay. Family income insurance. Uh, is that where you insure the debt, the breadwinner? Policy owner and the better. The loss of income by your family members, basically. Mm -hmm. Increasing term, increasing term. Increasing term. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One year renewable. And what is this convertible term used for? ART. Annual renewable term or annual convertible term. What is it used for? You renew it uh, automatically without further check needed. Yes, and it also for people who are young and also do not have a low budget to buy this option as an option because they will come, they can convert it to other policy or endowment policy or medical policy when they have uh, high income later on. Mm -hmm. This is how you use convertible term. Endowment, da, 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 very easy, whole life, very easy. Premium is paid whole life. 
That could be a fixed amount, it could be a fixed year. Uh, annuity, could be a term, could be endowment, tied to your whole life. Uh, traditional insurance, we call it term, life, and whole life, not traditional. You, oh, okay, this is something to explain. That's universal life and unit link, long term, paper five thing. In a universal life policy, In a traditional policy, it will charge for a fixed premium, right? Mm -hmm. The fixed premium will cover everything, your mortality rate, your uh, expenses, da, 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 everything, in one lump sum. So if it's a level term, that means they will charge you higher premium when you are younger and lower premium when you're older. So it's called level term premium. A 30 years term, meaning that during the next 30 years, you'll charge for the same amount. Mm -hmm. that, that means you charge more. When you're younger, uh -huh. charge you less when you're when mm -hmm. you're older. But universal term, it become a variable. It depends on the real age. You charge you lower, you're younger, higher when you're young, higher, younger. So it will be a variable according to the mortality rate. Mm -hmm. Charge the actual premium plus the interest plus the cost of protection, cost of protection, cost of CRI, cost of inflict, cost of insurance, basically the mortality rate. Mm -hmm. So you get flexible. You get flexible on your uh, uh, premium payment. Thanks. Yeah. Particularly when you're young, you want to invest five hundred dollars a month uh, mm -hmm. uh, into this unit link, and then you invest this five hundred dollars into a on uh, unit unit trust, mm -hmm. and then you will only charge for insurance. Mm -hmm. That's a universal life policy. And all the information will be disclosed. It will be prepared you, on your report. You will show that you paid $500 and how much is paid to your cost of insurance, how much is paid for your fees, how much is paid for your investment, how many units you buy, and it is so clear. But in a traditional policy, everything you cannot, you will not know how much mm. you've invested in the pool, what, mm. what's the position, what the proportion, or how many will be in the bonds. We never know because it's managed by the insurance company. Oh, okay. But in a unit link policy, you will specify how much unit you have bought. You will be responsible for the ups and downs of the unit. Oh, that makes sense. So you will sometimes increase more, sometimes you will suffer loss and bear the, all the investment risk. That's oh, a good okay. in investment policy. It could be a savings policy, a long term savings, regular savings, or one lump, one time, one lump sum savings. So it's become very flexible because in a term life insurance, it can, cannot vary. The premium payment is always mm. fixed for the next 20 years. But in a UL, universal life, I can increase my premium if I'm richer, run have more money. If I have my bonuses in a year, I put in $1,000. Mm. So increase my investment. Oh, okay. In the future, I can take money out. So like a savings account, I can withdraw money. And that is the flexibility of the universal life insurance. Okay. All right. And duty, we've said that. Mm -hmm. Uh, sometimes underwriting is assess of the premium, what risk, and then assess of the premium. And you need this this uh, new curve is higher when you are in baby, and when you're older, when you only do the lower and increase again. So this is the other. Uh, MPF, mm -hmm. annuity, and pension are three different types of schemes for retirement planning. MPF, government does not have MPF. Government mm -hmm. civil servants does not have MPF. They have pension funds. Uh, right now, all the companies are now under the MPF. Under, I mean, year 2013. Okay. All companies, most companies converted on pension in 2013. In the MPF, uh, your employer will be responsible for part of the retirement uh, provident fund. You are responsible for part of it. The maximum you can put in is uh, $5,000 a month. Mm -hmm. Or you can put in additional money as a voluntary, mandatory, voluntary, monetary provident fund. You get additional money. And there's an activating plan for the... Um, Voluntary contribution in the 
and the other account up to $60,000 a year, tax deductible. Do you know what? Do you don't know what is the meaning of tax deductible? Like you, so basically your your salary is hundred thousand, but then you bought a policy for say sixty thousand. Then earlier, if the tax rate is forty, then you would pay forty percent on the total hundred thousand. But now that you have this policy, you will subtract sixty thousand from this policy, and then you'll pay uh, just tax on the forty thousand. So your uh, tax. Let me let me explain. Let's say your your total annual income for mm -hmm. a physical year is X, mm -hmm. and you made you have parents uh, contribution, you have your own personal allowance, your wife allowance, children's allowance. You deduct all of them, mm -hmm. and this will become your taxable income. And then you make a donation, charitable donation. And that is also deductible. So after your personal allowance, after your charitable deduction, you will come to a taxable income. And this taxable income is Y. It will be according to the tax rate. Mm -hmm. It starts from the first 20,000, something like that, it's 2%, and it goes up to about 15%. And then any amount exceed this level will be taxed at 14%. Or oh, this is 70%. So this is called the marginal tax rate, depending on taxable income, the practice we will fall into. And this amount will be first 25,000, 2%, next 25,000, 4%, something like that, up to 70%. Mm -hmm. And if you exceed 400,000, something like that, you will be taxed at 15%, slowest in the world. And for a, there are two schemes authorized under the uh, government is, um, I think it started in last year, last fiscal year, we call it tax deduction deductible schemes. There are two schemes. One is called a deferred annuity. It means I can put in some money into annuity. Uh, maximum amount is sixty thousand dollars a year, mm -hmm. and then I can have re for five years. Then I contributed another three hundred thousand dollars into this annuity fund. Do, 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 for five years, mm -hmm. then uh, the money is going to pay me back at the age of 55 or 60 or 70, you name it. And it's pretty mm -hmm. This is called the deferred annuity. Six amount, $60,000 amount of the voluntary mandatory problem fund, another $60,000, $60,000 is tax deferred. It means it will be deducted from your taxable income. It gives you that much saving. After the deduction, you apply the marginal tax rate. Normally, it's 50, 70 percent. Highest is 70 percent. Lowest is 2 percent. So, whether it's beneficial for you to take this Just to transfer your taxable income into uh, future income. And then, because it's mandatory for fund, mm -hmm. will be repaid at the age of 65 at the other again funds. Mm -hmm. And these two schemes are called the tax saving scheme. Oh, okay. I think it's, uh, it's new, it's not in your service. It's a new product in our society. So annuity, you defer annuity, that's what I said, defer annuity. Mm -hmm. Now, whether this annuity will become taxable in the future, you become an income in the future. When you're retired, when your income plus your other investment income, your da -da 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 income, your rental properties, will, it, will you be taxed? If it becomes your income, you will. In yeah, I think you will. You will. Because I, when you're giving it, then it goes away from your income, right? But then if it's a yeah, part of your income. It's a deferred because you are so be, you'll be taxed right now. Yeah. So you deferred it. So this will be your taxable income. That in the yeah. Wow. This, that's so you, why. This can do like tax planning and stuff, right? Americans cannot buy the schemes because they are taxed at worldwide anyway. <laughs> so they have no benefits, so you cannot be forbidden to enter and just Summary of non-traditional, we call it unit link and universal life. And can you tell the difference now? 
in it link is you bear the risk and you know plus, how many lot you want. Yes. For universal, it's flexible, adjusting to the statistics, and you can add more decrease with unbundled pricing. Like I think more flexible, like not link, uh, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, last thing, group insurance. Group insurance can be contributory, contributory and uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. group insurance. Right. Contributory and non contributory. What is contributory? You contribute. Yeah, the plan. You pay. The employee pay. Non contributing the employee pays all. Right? And the nice thing about the group insurance is you can take the policy out when you leave the appointment employment. So if I have group insurance, or... so I like can if take this in... protection amount and then in the future I will still own this protection amount, but I will uh, pay for the premium. Uh... so it can be taken out to be a to become an individual. Protection plan oh. from a good plan, and that's the beauty of it. And in the group insurance, because we are assessing a pool of persons, like minimum is four persons, I think, right? Mm -hmm. uh, any, any, any employee number uh, uh, greater than four, you can buy group insurance. And the benefit of it is to don't, don't have to go through health check. Wow, okay, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The one who will pay the premium is divided between the employee and the employer and employee. And contributor. Like a, they both do part contribution, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There is a additional individual plan that you can buy, pay for yourself. Mm -hmm. But the company, let's say for the for the first ten hundred thousand paid by the company, the next fifty thousand, five hundred thousand you pay yourself. Mm -hmm. Termination when it leaves the employer. Mm -hmm. And then terminate the good policy primary, but they can convert into a personal individual company. Rider. Mm -hmm. So we've mentioned riders already. So these are the common riders disability, accident benefits, we call it ADD, personal accident, mm -hmm. medical benefits, hospital income. Um, ba, 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 ba. yes, hospital insurability benefits options, insurable options, mm -hmm. inflation adjustment. Some policy give you an inflation every five percent, five percent increase in the protection amount every three years, accelerated death benefits. So, these are the riders. Uh, definition of total disability. Meaning that he cannot do any of the essential act of duty of taking care of self mm -hmm. uh, for schooling, training for a period of time. Normally, it's six months. After six months, if you declare you are permanent disabled, disabled, you will not get the benefits. They will come back to you to prove you are permanent disabled for the past six months, oh. and then you will gain the disability benefits. Over the six months, you have to survive. Mm -hmm. You have no payments, no, no benefits paid because some people and some some people recover not because of treatment. Okay, I say I'm, I'm I cannot I cannot walk, but after three months I can walk again. Wave of premium is that that uh, loss of both eyes, both eyes, both hands, both feet is called permanent disabled. Okay. The loss of one hand and one foot also permanent disabled. So okay. if you only need one hand or one foot, it's not permanent. Total disability. And then this this disability waiver and disability income. Then there's some policy of disability income for, for three years, for example, you can mm -hmm. get monthly income for the disability period. Disability brief of premium, then you get the premium benefits. Waiting for Three to six months disabled, three to six months, then you get disability income. Uh, These are various ADD, 
accidental death benefits must be caused by accident. Mm -hmm. So if I run into a traffic accident, I was hit a car, hit by a car in the uh, road, will I get paid the for my accident? If the light is red, you won't. If the light is green, you will. Yeah, it depends on whether it's it. If it's red light and you mm -hmm. roll across the street and hit by a car, it's not an accident. Yeah. You commit suicide. <laughs> <laughs> right, but there are many cases like this. Mm -hmm. uh, people claim it's an accident, but actually it's not an accident. Or you, for example, if you have a um, uh, drink, wine, you have a drunken person, you drive a car, and you get lost, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, that's not an accident. As a, as a drunken driver, it's violated, violated law. For any breach of law, no benefits coming out from it. Double, double indemnity, mm -hmm. meaning you pay twice the amount. The approximate cost is very important. What is paid by double indemnity? For example, you have two life insurance with the same amount covering the same thing. term, the same mm. thing. And then you die, you can claim insurance from both. But the thing yeah. is that in life insurance, there is no indemnity, right? Yeah, maybe in the personal, yeah. you lost when you lost yeah. an arm and a leg. Critical illness. Yeah, or in the critical illness. You pay twice more. Mm. But it has to cover the same amount, same target. Benefits um, with a face mount apology. Damage is like a better well, in some policy, it pays a double indemnity benefits. Mm -hmm. Like in an accident policy, if you die on the public transport, you get double as a double indemnity. Double indemnity for accident. You buy an accident for a million dollars. Mm -hmm. If you die on an airplane, the main plane crash, you get two million. Why? Why? It's double indemnity benefits, part of the benefit terms of an accident policy. That's only for accident policy? Most likely an accident policy because the chances are very small. Do not mm -hmm. Fly on a public transportation, MTR accident, plane accident, or public vehicle, bus accident, double event. Exclusion Aviation injury. Except as fair paying. So you mean as a pilot, you cannot. Claim that or you cannot, pay, you cannot claim accident benefits. It's not an <laughs> Your intentional self, you hurt yourself. <laughs> it's not an accident. Okay. As a war, as a riot, if like we have riots recently, mm -hmm. if you are a rioter involved mm -hmm. in the riot, you are not, even though you are. Oh. Um, you hit your arm, hit your leg, you broke your eye, you know, mm -hmm. hey, in an accident. Uh, illegal activity is not accident. Mm. Okay. okay. So when you're in university, when you're trying to block <laughs> university, you're not <laughs> an accident. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are committing suicide yourself. Also linked is dismemberment. We call dismemberment. Losing one eye, one limb, one leg. So meaning totally detached from your body, total dismemberment. No more your member. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Loss of sight, yes, dismemberment. No, 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 no. Both limbs, both eyes, but one limb, one eye is a percentage. It's a percentage of yeah, so. All right, it's easy. Okay. Easy, 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 easy. Wow. So this is not easy. Exit. Accelerated that benefits, long term. Oh, there's long term care, meaning for people admitted some like well, people and uh, what they call it the uh, old age homes. What kind of disease? Mental oh, Alzheimer. Alzheimer. Yes, you need um, care, physical care. You need a nursery care, and then it's paid out of a long term care, mm -hmm. and it will pay them on a monthly basis. Critical illness. There's cancer. a critical illness, a cancer, stroke, uh, like heart attack. Yeah, yeah. 
and uh, there's a legal definition for any uh, long-term care. Uh, right now, this Hong Kong is not very popular, but should be popular because a lot of people go to our home, long-term care. So critical illness is covered up to a specified age for, oh, for critical illness, you can have multiple events. But you can have stroke twice, thrice. You can have stroke twice, you can have cancer three times. Yeah. Start with your lung cancer, becomes a brain cancer, it becomes a liver cancer, you get a free time and transfer mm -hmm. to other parts of the body. So you can pay, the maximum you can pay is five times. Oh, so you buy 100%, you can uh -huh. pay up to 500%, oh, okay. five times. Every cancer period, a waiting period is three years. So after three years, you transfer your lung cancer to brain cancer, you get paid enough. Okay. <laughs> If after the lung cancer become brain cancer after five years, then you will not get paid. Or you have well, to... you have lung cancer here, brain cancer five years, <laughs> and then you have brain cancer again uh, after two years, uh -huh. and you will pay uh, uh, on let's say twenty percent for the second brain cancer. Second cancer. Oh, okay. And you have to read the product. Not every policy of this multiple claim, but some do. Okay. For critical illness, after the claim, no more premium payment. So if you just don't have the second payment, third payment, five times payment, you don't need to pay the premium oh. anymore because you paid up the premium. Oh. But you will still have the benefits unclaimed entitlement to you mm -hmm. as long as you live. So the premium is paid here before the The payment is completed. Your payment bill, the payment is, is completed here. The responsibility for payment. All the future payment will be raised, renewals. So, better to get, <laughs> not bad, to get to the illness, right? Yeah, and long term. Okay, medical benefits. Mm -hmm. There's a basic plan, hospital plan, there's optional plans for the medical plans. We call it, um, there's just a name for it. Oh my god, I've got fever. The coffee is still. Oh. <laughs> oh, you don't. You didn't have the coffee. They, they didn't bring it to you. They will. They say they will send it here. You better ask for it, but they will forget. Or they send it to the wrong room. We told them this. Yeah, we told them to three or one. So it's too long. Let's, so I think we came to mention. Maybe yeah. we finish. Okay. Yeah. So it's to cover a wide range: hospital charge, private nursing, all this cover under the medical policy. Under the hospital hospitalization plans. Oh, free work by the system. <laughs> okay. And uh, there's a policy called the pregnancy and birth related plans. Uh, you can insure an unborn baby. If you are pregnant wife, mm -hmm. pregnant housewife, up to I think it's five months oh, okay. disabled, then you can buy a policy for yourself and for the baby. So if she got miscarried, will it be the death benefits? Um, yes, the child yeah, I mean, died, and you get a portion of benefits of the, of the of the death of the child. But it's normally it's not for the death uh, miscarried. It's only for some babies are born with some pre-existing diseases. A compensation for the mother. But drug abuse will not be paid. HIV not paid. Mm. Uh, genital normality not paid, so miscarriage will not be paid. Mm. Oh, miscarriage will not be paid? No, no payment, because it's not a critical illness, it's not the disease. <laughs> not even an accident. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. Some cause, not known, right? Uh -huh. It's not only out of uh, unknown negligence, right? Yeah. <laughs> So just know that one born child can be insured. Pregnancy mm -hmm. can be insured. You can insure it before you are pregnant. Mm -hmm. But the pregnancy hospital expenses will not be paid. Uh, okay. If you, even you have a hospital plan, medical expenses, but it's not paying. Mm -hmm. Medical expenses won't cover the pregnancy is not a disease. Mm -hmm. 
If she has complication after the birth, will the hospital expense be covered? No. Anything related to the pregnancy and birth. Okay. We will not okay. In the writing reinstatement, EIO, Guaranteed Insurable Benefit. Guaranteed purchase option. Temporary cover. No, temporary cover. No. Term, as a term, three months as a term. Inflation adjustment, we talk about that. Riders, we talk about that. Mm -hmm. ABDD, dismemberment, benefits, schedules, other benefits, disability benefits, excellent benefits. Uh, paper three, chapter three, done. So we're almost done. Life insurance procedures. Oh, this is easy. We just read mm -hmm. company operation, application, the writing, policy, insurance, office, and service. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's easy. What does uh, client servicing does? What does marketing do? Oh, Sorry. same stuff. Yeah. Yeah, very easy. And this uh, cooling off cooling off period. And it, this definition has been changed. So read that. Right? Okay. Okay. No more twenty one days from the date of the delivery. It's the date of the. I have to read. I haven't. I haven't touched okay. this one. Okay. I think they will. All questions out of them. Okay. Oh, finished. Bye. You want to check some papers? Okay, shall we go okay. to you? Uh -huh. I actually have class at 1.30. So. Sorry? Where I actually have class at 1.30. Uh, yeah. Then I have done the test. I have a bit of question. Okay. Yeah. Discuss the First question. is, why accidental that is not why the term for double indemnity is can't be used in an accidental death because because, it's, because, yeah, it's because accidental death and life insurance you can't put a value on a person and indemnity means exact financial compensation so uh -huh. you can't exactly say that your life is worth 500 and mine is worth 300 right mm -hmm. so that's why it's just financial compensation. Uh, that's what i understand good answer you're right. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. And then the second one, why you can't change frequency of premium payments during disability period in course? You guys, you just change the frequency of premium, right? During the disability period, I think you can't pay as much as you used to, so you should be able to change. So once you are determined frequency. as a permanent disabled, then mm -hmm. the policy will what do we call what's the word? Crystallize that point of time. Once the it is once enforced. It, once it becomes enforced uh, for as a disability benefits. Uh, it the plan, the payment plan has been crystallized. Uh, Another okay. change. And the last one is what's I think this is uh, my god, I write too little. I think this one I mean is what is the difference between reduced paid up and extended term? The two different things. Reduced pay up means you have protected for hundred thousand dollars, but you want to change the plan now. Now I want to reduce the amounts to fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. I want to pay up for the future payments and one lump sum or by the payment out of the cash value, mm -hmm. self financing, self funding, or payments is called pay up. But premium extended, extended term meaning that I am. Uh, five year term, I want to extend another five years. Uh, so the reduced paid up is your reduced insured pay? amount. Insured oh, no. One is the percentage. Oh, okay. That's all? Yeah. I I think I didn't find the other one confusing. The mm. explanation is quite clear. I think right now it's pretty clear. I have to think it should be very clear. Yeah. So you just Pay attention to the question. Incorrect, not answer, correct, not correct, yeah, just not incorrect. The ignorance. the wording is confusing, yeah. but if you pay attention, I think it's fine. Uh, Tonya, uh, go to the site to check your results. This is the site. I think I have to use my APID. I don't remember. My, it's the peak examination one, right? right? Yeah. I'll check Can you check? It. Have you checked? 
I don't remember my ID number. I have your ID, but I don't have your exam date. I have your ID. Good luck for your exam. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Uh, And same as the Hong Kong ID card, your ID card starts with last yeah. name first, right? Well, I don't think it's possible. It's M24, right? You want to get the copy of this? Yeah. Oh, because I don't have your exam date, so I didn't get it right. M240. No, one moment, let me check it. I have your ID call. I think I would have failed it. No, la, don't I wasn't able to study for it. It was too early. I don't, you, I didn't really know that you are of exam dates. Now, right now, you're taking last one? Yeah. Paper three? Yeah. When? On Friday. Friday, same time? No, I'm uh, February 2 for paper 1, February 8 okay. for paper so 2. So you're only taking one paper, are you? Yeah, but I just don't think this would have been Then passed. you need another booking. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you don't pass, then we can take paper together. Yeah. <laughs> you take paper 1, I take paper 3. All right, let me check your ID. I have to get M824. Oh. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah. It's fine. I really did not study for that one. Then do you need to book him? Yeah, no, I'll do the booking. I'll ask Kelly. Did he did she book you? No, no, no. I'll ask okay, him. Let's do it now. I can do it now. You did another another date for paper one? Yeah. Paper one. Uh, but can I check my February schedule and then book it? Let me say what stays of it because it's pretty full. Oh, we have three vacancies on February 8th. Okay. There's a paper test. Same day. Same day? You want to yeah. take the day I tell? I'm not sure at all. I need to check my um, can you check now? Web schedule. Because only three. If you check, Renanda, this is gone. The vacancy is gone. What are the other dates? The other day, no. The other day oh, is uh, 19th. Hmm. I think maybe that because it'll come after it'll come during CNY. Uh, uh, February a is uh, CNY. Yes. No, it, our holiday starts from twelfth, so nineteenth right. will be. Do you want to check the eighth one? No, I think nineteenth. Maybe I wrote and wrote it for you. Yes, sir. Two days to pay. Okay. We will see. We will see the email. Okay. So pending, pending your payment. Oh. So your dates. You do not need another date, do you? Hopefully not. <laughs> then what about? So you're taking about. You're taking on the eighth. One paper on eight. Yeah, that's and for then? paper three, and then second February for paper one. Second of February. Yeah. For oh, the coffee. No, there's no paper one date. No, no, no February second. Oh, oh. Lelo, 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 lelo. <laughs> Um, okay, that's nice. This is my Thank you. I think book is in the, yes, in the 2nd February. 2nd February. Uh, in the, there, 2 2 2021. It's in, uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'll be. I don't have this date. So February, February second, or maybe you have it. Yeah. But you should check your email confirmation. Oh, I I got the confirmation. You got the yes. Yeah, just because there's no date of second. Mm -hmm. If you want to take another insurance, okay. good. Tell us as soon as you. Because right now, if you tell us later. Mm -hmm. There'll be no date until the 26th. I'll try to be one person. Uh, one person. All right, thank you very much. Thank what do you thank think you. about the future? The fine is good. It's very helpful. You... It's really helpful. Good.
because like you can ask questions like when you're doing alone then you just have questions <laughs> well let's finish the recording oh uh, yeah Yay. Hello, yes, we finished. And uh, everything, everyone will pass, I think. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, we're done. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.